Hello, my name's Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're an RV dealer that does sell RVs nationwide. Uh, and to learn a little bit more about us, by all means, check out our website. I'll post links below. And just go to Google. Type in Paul Sherry RVs. Read our reviews from many of our customers. Uh, we at Paul Sherry RVs are probably one of the highest rating and most rated RV dealers out there. So make sure you check that out. Uh, and by all means, uh, the purpose of these videos is to show you what's new, uh, particularly with floor plans and uh, features in the RV industry. And also, if you're in the market to buy an RV or know someone who is, we encourage you to give us the opportunity to earn your business. So uh, behind me today is a cool travel trailer. Uh, it's a V-Nose travel trailer provided by Cherokee. Uh, now Cherokee is the top selling uh, manufacturer of towable RVs. And this is a very unique trailer that they're building here. So I'm excited to show this to you today. Okay, this is the all new 2020 Forest River Cherokee 274 VFK. It is a front kitchen travel trailer, two entry doors, rear bedroom. A lot of, a lot of customers come in asking for a rear bedroom. Uh, that way they can be away from the, the campsite road uh, when they're sleeping or as far away from as possible. Typically in travel trailers and fifth wheels, the, the bedroom is up front. But this one, the, the bedroom's in the rear with its own door uh, and a nice big kitchen up there. So if, you're, if you are looking for a kitchen, this is the one to look for. So a lot of customers appreciate this travel trailer and it does sell very very well here. Uh, this is the 2020 and a half. Uh, how you can denote the 2020s from the 2020 and a halfs on the Forest River Cherokees is the blue line here. So notice how thick the blue line is on this trailer. On the one beside us, it's about half or a third as thick. The one beside us is a 2020. This is a 2020 and a half. And the 2020 and a half is going to give you uh, a couple more features uh, in addition to what the 2020s have. Also, the 2020 and a halfs are going to be or are what the 2021s are going to be so if you're wanting the newest of new but don't want to pay the price increase that the 2021s are going to have take a look at some of these 2020 and a halfs special thing forest river cherokee does power tongue jack up front there both propane bottles are right uh, right here neatly in this storage compartment here uh, this does have the super slide, which is going to come out three foot. It's really going to open up that living room, and I'll show you once we get in into that. Uh, the Cherokee prides themselves on not using a lot of decals. In fact, what they do, and not a lot of manufacturers are doing it right now, is they paint all their exterior metal. Uh, that's going to allow it to look good for years and years and years to come. Uh, a lot of companies are still using a lot of stickers and decals. Uh, that's a little bit less expensive way to style up the outside of their, the camper. The Cherokee, uh, what they've done is they invested in painted metal uh, to make sure your camper not only looks good when you buy it, but five years down the road. Here's your dump station here. Uh, this travel trailer does have the insulated underbelly as you can see here. Outside shower with hot and cold water right here on about a three or four foot hose. And then your water fill and water hookups are right here, right next to your power input. Rear of the trailer, uh, one of Cherokee and Grey Wolf's signature pieces is this travel rack. Comes standard on all their products, uh, other than the Wolf Pups. It is an option on some Wolf Pups. Uh, but it comes standard on this travel trailer, uh, folds down. Uh, also mounts your spare tire and then when in the fold down position you can put a lot of various items on that uh, you can put uh, maybe bicycles or a generator uh, you know a lot of different options you can put on there big rubber made totes full of your stuff uh, so that's a nice thing there uh, there's our website I mentioned I, I will post links below as well uh, for you to check that out uh, behind this uh, rack there is a storage compartment now that can be accessed from there of course you got to flip down this travel rack which is simple to do but it can also be accessed right here so that's going to go through almost to the other side uh, and then it actually goes clear up underneath the bed again this is a rear bed uh, floor plan and then right below this access to that storage compartment is a leash latch for uh, pd the dog again two entry doors here it does have a power awning and i I mistakenly just forgot to put it out. So, uh, sorry about that. But two entry doors. The rear entry door goes right into the master bedroom. 
and then the bathroom is actually through this pocket sliding door right there so quick access to the master bedroom and bathroom uh, this camper does come with a black tank flush to flush out your uh, your poop tank LED lights uh, in the speakers there again I forgot to click that button, but uh, there is outside speakers here. And then also a spot up here to hang a television, which is nice to have. It comes with a mount there, so you can just simply mount your TV right onto that. And then uh, to make it clean, all your hookups, your power, and then uh, video, and uh, also coaxial cable is right there. Uh, this is a two axle travel trailer. Uh, it comes with nice wheels, radial tires, a tire pressure monitor system, uh, and self-adjusting brakes. The main entry is going to go right into the living room and kitchen. It comes with the step above uh, provided by, um, I don't know why I keep on getting Mopar in my head, uh, but <laughs> provided by More Ride. I guess the M's have just got me a little scrambled today, but the, provided by More Ride. Nice step. Now, those steps are going to fold inside of this door uh, when you're in travel mode. Uh, this door is a friction hinge door. You notice there's no latches or anything on this door. This door will stay put wherever I leave it, and I really like that feature. Uh, being around the RV industry for a while, those plastic latches like to break quite often. Uh, this does come with the base camp package, the campfire package. Uh, and also a cool thing Forest River is partnering with this year is the KOA campgrounds, uh, which are doing a big work uh, to help fight cancer, particularly kids with cancer. Uh, and that is really cool. I always like a purpose bigger than and than what i do and uh that's a that's a big purpose there for forest river and uh by purchasing that you are a part of that purchase or purpose uh, again this is the 274 vfk this travel trailer weighs in at just under 6700 pounds so this can be towed with some half ton trucks definitely uh most three quarter and one ton trucks could tow it as well so the newer half ton if you can pull and then eight higher eights lower nines you can pull this so uh noticing here we have uh the front kitchen up here which is absolutely stunning uh i really really like this a lot of countertop space notice how it curves around here towards the edge and what i like is you can access the refrigerator the sink the stove just basically by turning your body there's no travel there also a lot of lights up here we have two up here uh we have the glass inserts and the cabinet work up there and then we have three lights down here so a lot of lights including the natural lights that's going to come through these windows it's surrounded by windows here so that is nice to have so countertop space the countertop is a seamless countertop uh so you don't have the edging there uh, like you would on a cheaper formica countertop and that allows you to have a sunk down stainless steel sink uh, which is really nice this is a black stainless they call it uh, matches the faucet very nicely uh, and then it comes with this uh insert there for the sink so you can uh, expand the countertop space when you're not using the sink nice spice rack behind there as you can see uh, we have plugins all throughout this travel trailer um, there's some usb and some uh, normal power this does come with a voltage uh, monitor here that's part of the juice pack when you see the uh, the msrp there on the listing this does have the juice pack on um, the juice path that's going to come with a uh, a battery um, which we provide all the time uh, a 50 watt solar panel and a battery disconnect and that battery monitor that i just showed you so it's a nice package triple drawers there triple drawers there and two cabinet doors so a lot of cabinet space um this does have the new furion uh this is a 10.1 cubic foot residential refrigerator uh which is really something uh this will run just off of battery power so I just kicked it on right there. We're just running off of battery power in that solar panel. All right, so that's the kitchen, which is my attraction to this trailer. Um, sorry about being a little jumbo here. I got to, I got a new gimbal and I'm just learning how to use it. So um, here is the dining room table and more of the living room as we can see here. 
This is going to feature a nice spot up here for your entertainment system, which is going to be your television. And then right below that is going to be your radio. This is Furion style radio. As you can see, uh, it has inputs for HDMI and USB. And also it's uh, Bluetooth ready and of course AM FM radio as well. And then the hookups are all nicely done right through here, as you can see there. Uh, a little bit of a pantry or extra storage off to the side there. It does come with this freestanding uh, recliner chair. As you can see, it's really comfortable. This chair is made by Thomas Payne, which Thomas Payne does more of residential style furniture. So it's, it's a chair you can sit in, which unfortunately in RVs, sometimes they put chairs that are so small you can't sit in them. Uh, and then directly across from that is going to be your, your jackknife or futon style sofa, and then your oversized booth dinette. Uh, one thing the Cherokee does pride themselves with is actually putting a booth dinette that you can sit in, uh, similar to the chair. Uh, they have enough space there between your back and the table that you can actually fit in there. And then what that allows is it allows when the table does come down for a bed, a bigger bed. Uh, Cherokee's also notes uh, a lot of windows in their trailer. Um, all their windows across the board uh, for the 2020 and a half are gonna feature these zebra blinds, which I am really attracted to. So they can let almost no light in, as you can see there, or as much light as you want, depending how you have it. Uh, and the, the lines, I guess, is where they get the name zebra from. They're not actually made from zebras, so. All right, coming back to the rear of the travel trailer, we have two doors. Off to our left is the bathroom. And inside the bathroom, again, that door there is going to go to your bedroom, so you have access from both uh, places, the living room or the bedroom. And then we have your medicine cabinet here. Uh, up into here, we have a skylight in the shower. This shower does feature a glass surround, which I like. And uh, I don't like those curtains or whatever they are. I don't like them sticking to me when I'm in the shower. Uh, stool there. Big bathroom, too. A lot of room. You can close the door and get changed in here, which is important to me. I like my privacy. A uh, little spot there to hang your towels. A lot of times there's just not that there. Uh, also, in all the Cherokees, we've got a nice attic fan up here. A real nice attic fan. So that's going to, uh, you know, get the smells out of the bathroom, but really just kind of ventilate the whole trailer. Uh, and then through this door here is going to be your master bedroom. So this is a, a queen bed. Uh, big spacious bedroom here as you can see here a lot of room at the foot of the bed good lighting wardrobes on both sides of the bed for your hanging clothes and then more storage above the bed there all right that completes this walkthrough of this 2020 and a half uh, Cherokee uh, 274 VFK. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, uh, if you're in the market for an RV, by all means, give us an opportunity. Check out our website and uh, find out more about us. And thank you very much for watching. I'm signing out.